Hey YouTube, how you doing? Kevin here. I want to show you how far I am today. This is um, video number two. Two on the um, electronic conversion. Uh, not electronic conversion. The um, 12 volt conversion test engine. Um, I got a lot done today. I really did. Uh, I'm not done. You know, I'm, I'm done for the day. But um, I got quite a bit. I made a, a freaking hell of a mess. I got shit everywhere. <laughs> What part of invention uh, doesn't have that, right? So here we got the exhaust right here. I got uh, my recycling and shit down down there. I'm doing. Uh, I, I, we bring our trash to the dump, so don't mind the trash in the background there. Anyway, um, so what I got here is I got the uh, kill switch throttle hooked up. I got my volt gauge hooked up. I got my ignition coil on mounted and all that happy stuff right there I got the wiring all done this goes up for the volt gauge grounded and then I got the uh, three wires I was telling you before one of these goes up to your kill switch on the handlebars right there the other one goes up to your ignition coil and the other one comes off your mag that's pretty much it for that and then um, what do you call it there then when you get on it you can see it light up right there um, it doesn't have enough, you know, obviously it didn't make enough voltage to uh, run it at the moment, but It's gonna light up like that um, And I have the regulator the 6 volt regulator is mounted right here right on the side So I can keep all that so we're gonna run it on 6 volt and uh, See what we can do and then we're gonna do our conversion to it when the part comes in But I got to get this thing up and running prior to that happening so I got it on there, and then basically if you want to check the spark, take the spark plug out, put it on top of the engine, and then kick it over, and it should look like that. And you'll have spark. Um, they do have a couple spark testers. Okay, so about that. And this is another type of spark test. They make different types. They have the one that, you know, you leave your spark plug in, you put it in line. I have those two, I just don't have one handy. And then this type right here just basically clamps onto your head. And then you plug your plug wire in there and you'll see a spark, but it's still too bright out here to do that. Um, so, we have spark, we have compression. And I use, let me show you guys something. I use the, the uh, NGKs. Um, this right here is the black one. You should be using NGK plugs in your um, Kawasaki's, they like it. Don't use any other brand. And if you have a blue plug, it, it's a NGK and it'll be blue and it'll have the letter R on it. That's a resistor plug. Do not confuse that with a um, bad points. Because if you have a resistor plug, there is a way of testing it. I'm going to do a video on plugs um, later on, but I'm, I'm not doing it tonight. But there's a way to check that to uh, make sure that your plug is actually good using a multimeter on a resistor plug. I honestly hate resistor plugs. Those are the ones that will leave you stranded. So, yeah, this thing's got excellent compression. I can't wait to uh, to kick it over and get it, you know, get it fired. You know what I mean? So, that's awesome. So, I moved the Kickstarter down there. I showed you that in the last video, and then this this is going to kill it right here. So we can start it, run it. One, 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 one. So you get the oil. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right, right down, right in between there. One, one. Let's see. Old air filter assemblies. You can use it in any style. But I just wanted to make it so that everything is that's needed to run the bike is on, uh, motor is on here. I put the Kawasaki KE mag on it, so it does not have a um, a G3 mag. It's got the, uh, what do you call it there, the mag that our bikes are going to require for this. And then I have this 100, um, C, you know, uh, Kawasaki 70s model oil tank. And this is going to be bracketed up here someplace. Right like that so the oil will work. So i got my fuel tank and oil tank. That's off of the Snowblow Snow King engine. And uh, you can see the exhaust is going to be going up that way. Just took a bracket. Some angle lion made the bracket on there so hopefully this is all you know should be good probably vibrate a little bit probably make a freaking racket running but nevertheless all we care about is this gauge 
So, I gotta put the uh, throttle cable on. Got a good cob. Um, cob's all cleaned out, ready to go, RTG. We don't care about the clutch, that's your, where your clutch adjustment is. And that's your, we don't care about any of that. Uh, it's all bracketed down, this thing's pretty cool. So, I'm not gonna run the fuel filter through the grommet. I'm just, I mean, a fuel line through the grommet. It's gonna come right off the bottom here. There's gonna be a pet cock going right up to here. Boom, done. Have a nice day, see you later, bye-bye. And then the same thing with the oil. It's gonna go there, all the way up to the oil tank on the side. Or we can put two-stroke in it, so. We're going to simulate your bike. And then we got the 12-volt uh, brake oil mounted back here on a piece of flat stock. This is the same um, stock that I use when I do my coil upgrades, I mean my um, ignition modifications. So just right here. You know, it's like half inch stock, you know. Boom, half inch right there. Not thickness, half inch, it's one eighth. And then this right here would normally go right here, but this is the old style. So it would have a, a screw, uh, like a, um, a fork style. Kawasaki, Japan. It's a 90. Yep, this is a 90 cc. But we don't care. We just want 12 volts right there. That's what we want to see. We want to see 12 plus volts. Realistically, you're looking at 13, maybe 14 volts. An automotive battery or a charging system, 12 volts would put out 14 and a half volts right in that area. So well, that's what we're shooting for. And um, when the regulator comes in, we're gonna mount the regulator, probably right up up in here someplace on the, um, what do you call it there, the Briggs one. Or actually probably do it right over here. Yeah, we're gonna do it over here, so because the wiring's right here to it. So we'll be able to take that off, make a pigtail and, and plug it into it. And the regulator I'm using is a four wire uh, regulator. It has, I'll show you. This is the one from a Kawasaki KE100. Some have a third wire, but we don't we don't care about the third wire. We just care about these ones. So on this one right here, it has, and if it did have a third, we're just gonna cut it. But anyway, um, two yellow going up to your regulator, your negative and your positive, and it's just that simple. So um, positive's going right into here, and going to the um, what's we call it here, bolt gauge. So, yeah, this is really, really cool. I'm really enjoying making this thing. And it's pretty cool. I mean, I can run this old engine and, and keep it running if I want. It's, you know, I'm going to leave it mounted. I think it's a nice conversation piece. Like, people are going to be like, what the hell is that? And then after I get that all done, I'll put the side covers back that go to this motor on it. And uh, so I can, you know, actually run it, run it. And uh, keep it running. Might as well be a pretty cool conversation piece so my 12 volt conversion and I'm gonna leave it hooked up so for future references but yeah that's pretty cool that's just that's just badass I'm sorry that's just, it's just badass so. pretty damn cool you don't see that every day I'll tell you that so let's see here, put this in here like this. Wow. It's a good leg workout, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Definitely a good leg workout. Definitely, definitely, definitely a good leg workout. Not yet, just read a bolt. Huh. But, so anyway, this is it. This is the contraption. Um, like I said, the oil tank's gonna be mounted here. I just wanted to let you guys look at it for a little bit. Take it all in. I know it's a lot to take in. But, um, the Kawasaki KE mag coil. Mounted right to an engine stand. I mean, it's freaking bolted right to it. Right from underneath. Regally located the Kickstarter. It's, in, it's clean. Look at this. I got plenty of room. It's completely away from the tank. And then 
course the carburetor and I'll still be able to put the side cover on we're not going to but we could and then I'm gonna put the uh, hook the throttle that's all I gotta do is hook the throttle cable up on this and uh, adjust the oiler and basically what you're looking for I don't know if you can see that mark right there see the two marks yeah they have to line up they're not lined up right now but they have to line up and to align them up you adjust that and that's it's it's a start point and then when you give it throttle it moves it off there and changes it and that keeps the 32 to 1 ratio of oil and fuel so that's what these things run 32 to 1 so but yeah put the clamp on there factory exhaust, you know factory exhaust bolted it up nicely came out really really well I'm gonna go over and make sure everything's tight um, I'm assuming this thing's gonna vibrate like a son of a bitch um, not that I know how much a son of a bitch vibrates but I'm assuming it's gonna be like this so um, as always please subscribe like it share it whatever you got to do with it <laughs> and uh, thank you I, I really appreciate this this is awesome Sorry about my mess. Like I said, I got recycling and, and crap. I have to bring down to the dump tomorrow. And I've been throwing out the door. Cleaning and working on this. And I'm all just all grubby. But I'm really excited about this. Putting this thing together. This is going to be awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So thank you for this opportunity. To allow me to help you convert yours over to 12 volts. And as you can see, I'm working pretty hard at it. So, and I'll show you guys my plan. And how it's going to work. So thank you for watching.